It's very kind of Katya to let me spend the night here. I could just keep living here because she doesn't. She only stores her things here sometimes when she needs to. So yeah, this is what it looks like. But it's time for me to go. The one word that describes this place perfectly is compact. It costs her 150 euros a month. It's pretty close to the center, only like two kilometers away from the European Parliament, three kilometers from the train station. It's practically downtown. Nice little bed up here with a closet underneath. The closet's like a tiny room. Store your clothes. You can even turn the lights on in there. And that's a shower. It's super compact. And there's the exit. All right, well, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Katya gave me a chocolate bar, Belgian chocolate. It'll surely come in handy today. I don't really have anything to eat. I think I've left an apple at the hostel. She left me some money too, for the metro and such. I'm not sure if I want to take the money, to be honest. I kind of want to flip a coin and decide. I haven't done that in years. Here's the money. How much is that? One euro? Two? Three? Three euro forty. I think I'll just take the two euros because that's how much the metro ride costs. All right. So if it lands on this side, I'll take it. If it's tails, I'm not taking it. Let's see. Let's make sure it doesn't fall to the ground. Tails, not taking it. Well, time to leave. We'll have to go on foot. I want to see the parliament building, then I'll get my stuff from the hostel, and then we can leave the city. That will take some time. It's a nice little place, isn't it? Oh, well. This door will close shut if I let it. But that's fine. We're not going back. We're finally getting ourselves out of here. Look. Closed. The weather is wonderful. It was raining heavily just now, but the streets are already dry.